What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's video, I'm going to do a little practice run on some uh, chicken legs. I have a competition in, uh, let's say, leaving about two weeks, headed up to Montana, Bozeman, Montana, to compete in the Montana Pitmaster Classic. It's a KCBS event, and I want to do a little practice run on some chicken. Now, the main purpose of this video is not necessarily the entire recipe. It's going to be more on the trimming process. My goal in this video is to try to get all my chicken legs the exact same size or very close to. And I want to work on that bite through skin. Um, you know, I'm not going to brine them. I might inject, but I'm not sure yet. So this isn't the full recipe that I'm going to run. Again, I'm just focusing on the, the, the trimming process. Make sure I got, I got that down. Um, the recipe... This, I'm going to take my, my Texas recipes, take some Texas barbecue up to Montana and see how we do. So I'm not going to focus too much on the rubs. Um, I am relying on Traeger to deliver the grills and other people to help me out with everything that I need. So um, I'm going to practice these on my pellet grill today because that's what I'm going to be cooking on. Trying to get some timing down and, uh, you know, main thing again is I, when, I, when I put those chicken legs in the box, I want to make sure that they're all uniform. So that's what we're going to focus on today. I'm going to get these legs out. We're going to do some trim. I'm going to show you how I trim them up and, um, you know, we'll get them seasoned up, get them cooked and uh, see how they turn out. I might try some things a little different that I haven't done before. Haven't quite decided. But I'm bringing you guys along. It's been a while since I've actually made a a cooking video, right? Uh, most of them have been my comp videos. So that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today. Uh, let me get these chickens out and we'll get this video underway. And that's coming up next. All right. So I've got my leg quarters over here to my left. I'm not leg quarters, my uh, chicken legs. What I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to do is pull back the skin. Try to get it loose. So obviously I'm not gonna show doing all of these because it'll, it'll take too long. Um, but I'll show you a few. What I'm doing here, I'm just cutting that silver skin back trying to release some of that skin but trying to be careful not to actually tear the skin itself and I want to come as far back as you'll see you guys um you know when you eat a chicken leg there's always this tendon down at the bottom you don't want to judge to bite into that which is I hope you can make it out right here so I do want to remove some of that, or I do want to remove that. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is just take my knife and just go right under that tenant. Try to stay parallel, not take off too much meat right there. And then just cut that off, get rid of that tendon right there. Now the meat actually sticks sticks off further than the skin, so I do want to square this off a little bit. Cut this off. So we got the knuckle right there. I'm just gonna come right above it. Go straight down. Kind of flatten it out. And then I'm gonna take my shears. <clears throat> and just kind of clean it up. I'm going to come and round this top off. I am going to sacrifice some of this meat in order to get this top round. I'm 
Remember, you only need enough for one bite, so. <clears throat> I'm going to take my skin real quick and see how much. Pull it back over. See how much of this meat it covers. Oh, there's a little bit of meat hanging off here. I'm just gonna come and trim that off. I might have to actually trim a little more of this knuckle right there sticking up. Not every one of these legs is, is gonna be usable. So we go through so many. Uh, let's just do this here. Clean it up a little bit. Now, this is just the way that I do it. Other people do it completely different. Um, you know, I, I do have to say that I don't do a whole lot of KCBS. So, uh, these leg quarters are something that, you know, I'm not really used to having to do. You see that tendon sticks out right here at the bottom. Once I cut it from here, this tendon should loosen up and I could should be able to pull it right out. Oh, my hands are slippery. Let's see what I can. See, pull it right out. Now this entire tendon that was in here is gone. So I'm not worried about a judge biting into that now. <clears throat> Some people will weigh these, whether it's legs or thighs, I guess, and um, uh, try to get them all the same weight, same size. That's not a bad idea. I will probably do that. Clean this up a little bit. And even though I think it might look all right and be usable, once I get done cooking, this skin might bust, something might happen, and it might not be usable after all. So, you, um, let's see, I think we had to turn in six. So, I'll probably do about 12 of these for the comp, just to make sure I got enough for what I need. So, I think that's going to be good for now. Pull that skin right over. Lay it aside. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Out of the way. Pulling that skin back. Again, just cutting right under that skin, releasing that silver skin. Trying to go as far down as I can to expose that tendon. You can see that's, so you have all the meat here, right? And then the bottom side is where you have that tendon. It's a white colored piece. Take my knife right underneath there and just trim it right off. <clears throat> and then try to find this bottom part. I normally will have a little, I didn't grab them set of pliers to kind of grab that and pull it out. I'll do that here in a bit, but. So that's that. Let's see, I want it, I'm comparing it to this one, just to see about how far up on the top here I want to cut off. So about 
there. I'm not done with that one. <clears throat> Go right under that knuckle. Pull that away. And just clean it up. I think I don't know if I've finished saying it earlier, but um, like I said, I don't do a ton of KCBS, so I'm not uh, used to having to do these legs. So, <clears throat> you know, there's like I said, other ways of doing it. You just find what works best for you. I just think this is quick and easy for me. Pull the skin back over. think that's going to do it. So if I compare this one to this one, this one is a little thicker, but that's okay. This yellow part down here, since I do judge on appearance, I do want to remove that. When you cook it, that will probably cover up, you know, with the smoke and all, your sauce. But I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Again, there are a number of different ways of doing this. This is just how I'm going to do them. So I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. And then I'm going to pick back up to show you the... Um, next technique that I use. All right, so I got the chickens done that I'm gonna run with. So I've got eight here. Next step is I'm gonna take my jacquard. Now, normally with like um, chicken thighs, people will remove the skin, scrape the fat. I'm simply taking my jacquard and gonna jacquard the whole uh, leg. Do that, set it aside, come back on the next one. And what I've, if, I, don't know, I don't know if you can tell, but this card, I took the bottom part off because I feel like I can, um, for this, I can go as deep as I want without having to like really push down on the jacquard to get the holes I need. And just putting these perforations in there, kind of like a paper towel, so it tears easier. All right, set that aside. So as it cooks, it should loosen up the skin, these little holes, any fat that's underneath there will release from these little holes. And then when the judge goes and bites it, it should rip right apart. That's the idea of anyway. Now I'm gonna do one more step to this before we get to seasoning. Just to help keep that skin intact, keep it from rolling up, hopefully. I'll 
show you in just a second. So that's that. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is to help keep the skin from pulling back as it cooks. Now you can do a couple things. Sometimes I'll put like a wire rack, <clears throat> not like this one, but it's one that's a little rougher that kind of will grab onto that skin and prevent it from pulling back. I uh, may use that also, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna take my chicken pins, pull that skin over the top, take a pin right on top, just like that, <clears throat> to hold that chicken in place. Show you another one here. Make sure you get that skin all the way over. Uh, sometimes using a paper towel, I actually get a better grip. <clears throat> so pull that over. Take my pen. and just pin that skin down. Well, let me get the rest of these done real quick and I'll pick back up. All right, so I got them all pinned up. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna run one recipe on this side on these four and the one on these four, uh, just cause there's some stuff I wanna try out. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna take some, I can't believe it's not butter, spray it down just so the, the rubber stick, come back with the, I'm doing this over my trash can, come back with the first rub, And then a second rub. So I'm just trying to make sure I give it a good even coating. Although, uh, I think I'm messing it up. Anyway, that'll be that. Touch that up a bit. Come back. With this one. Again, these first four I'm seasoning exactly the same. And then the second four I'm gonna season exactly the same. But they'll be different from the first four. Two. So, I'll do those two first and then, oh, you know what? I forgot to spray that stick in with butter. That's all right. I'm going to come back and do these. Give it a little bit of. I can't believe it's not butter. I'm gonna come back. Now these are these two rubs are different from the first one. I'm not gonna show them all, just show you what they look like. At least couple. That. I was going to inject these. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's too late at this point. I know what my injection tastes like. So, I'll go there. I'll do one more and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera and pick back up. Once they're all done, 
We'll let them rest here for a bit. I'll go get my pellet grill fired up. And then we'll get them on the we'll get them on the pit. Do this one real quick. And cooking them on this rack is just going to make it easier to transport them, move them around. So you can see they got two different colors. This one's a little darker, a little more red. Uh, this one, not so much, although it might be once, once they get cooked, we'll see. So let me finish up the rest of these and then we'll get them outside. All right. So they're all seasoned up. These two rubs are different from these two rubs. Um, we're going to let it sit, sweat in for a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to head outside and get the uh, pit fired up. I am going to touch up, like, right here. This is where I was holding it, so my finger was kind of blocking it, because I want to make sure the color's even all the way around. So I am going to touch up these bottom parts here if it needs it. So that's what they look like. We'll get the uh, pit fired up and get them on. All right, so we got the chicken on. I'm running the... Pit at 275 degrees. I'm going to come back in 30 minutes and take a look at them, see what they look like. So get the lid closed again. 30 minutes. I'm going to set a timer. 30 minutes and we'll take a look. All right, so we're actually 40 minutes into the cook, and these things have taken on some really nice color. I did temp them with my thermo pen, and these things are already reading like in the 150, so it did not take long. I did give it a quick spray with some, I can't believe it's not butter. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put these in a foil pan, put some parquet in there, and put them back on the pit, and let them go for about another 30 minutes and see what they look like. So let me get them in the pan, and we'll get them back on. All right, I got them in the pan, got some butter. We're gonna get the lid closed. In fact, at this point, I'm gonna turn the temp down to 250 because I don't want these to overcook. And then we'll check back in about 20 minutes. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. I did just check these chickens. Since I opened it up, I'll put the, this is a sauce I'm using. What I'm gonna do is just kind of baste these with the butter. Now, in the competition, what's gonna happen is and you guys have seen me do this in other comp videos. This butter is going to have, you know, of course, the flavor of the butter. It's going to have the flavor of the rub and um, some of that injection and the fat that seeps out the chicken juice. So it's going to taste really, really good. And I'll use that to, I'll baste it once or twice um, before I dip them in the sauce. Let that sauce warm up. They're just still reading. The tip did go up. They're reading about 167. I want them to go up just a tad longer or a tad more. So, put that there. Let that sauce warm up. And then um, I'll take each one, dip it in the sauce, and get it back on the pit. All right, you guys, so these chickens are done. I dipped them, let that sauce set. These four over here are the ones that were on the left in the pit. These four are the ones that were on the right. So if you look at them, those are the two different ones. You can see the difference in the color. I like the black pepper specks on this one. So I think they look nice. I love that that skin, that definitely pinning the skin down helped. Um, so I'm definitely going to do that. That skin did not pull back. It did not bust. The total cook time was right at an hour. So I went 40 minutes at 275 and then 20 minutes at 250. So right at an hour. Uh, and I did put them back on for about five minutes once I sauced them. So, you know, just a, 
tad over an hour, but this is what they look like. Nice color. Now it's just time to, I would probably put some more sauce if I was using these, uh Oh, to cover up that spot there. I'll fix that, but now let's give them a taste. All right, so we're getting them a taste. I'm gonna try the ones on the right side first. Let's take from this one. So this is the one without the black specks. Although this does have a little bit on there, but not like the other one. Let's give it a bite uh, right in the middle, right where that skin is at, and see if uh, if it stays intact. Mm. That skin definitely stayed. That's got some good flavor. Mmm. And so the inside, it's a little moist. Again, I didn't brine, I didn't inject. Uh, once I do, these are going to be really, really moist. But this flavor is excellent. Again, that right where I bit is where that skin stayed. You can see there. It didn't pull off. That's a good sign. Let's try the ones that were on the left with the black specks. So here it is. I'm going to give it a bite right there. Right where that chunk of meat is at, where the skin is at. Fingers crossed that skin stays intact. Mmm. Pretty much, yeah. There's a little piece that pulled off. Wow. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, so I am, I gotta tell you, I'm extremely happy. I think that skin was definitely bite through, jacar in it, you know, put those little holes in there that makes it easier to tell, kind of like the paper towel uh, deal. Flavor-wise, good gosh almighty. Um, I would run either one of these uh, in Montana, and I think I am. I, in fact, I think I'm going to go with the ones on the left, the ones with the black pepper specks. Uh, I think that just looks a little prettier. But it's you definitely pick up the chicken, and it's uh, the rubs aren't overpowering but there's some nice sweetness to it. Uh, I did add a finishing dust and uh, did a little bit of touching up to the sauce before I sauced it. I wanna go with something that's a, a little sweeter. These are excellent. I would, I would run those here in Texas. <laughs> They're that good. Um, it's gonna be tough. I, I think I'm gonna throw out my whole game plan when it comes to chicken and, and run this recipe for the chickens that are on the left, the black specks, because those things are money. Anyway, this was just um, kind of a practice run to work on the trim and making sure that I get that bite through skin and it doesn't pull back and that the skin held, you know, all the way around the edge of the chicken. I think I accomplished that. So I'm going to say mission accomplished as far as finding a new recipe for chicken. I think I just might have done that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Man, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've done a cooking video. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, and uh, like I said, in two weeks from tomorrow, I'll fly out to Montana. So I'm definitely going to bring you guys along. We're going to be out there for a while. And it should be a whole lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, I would truly, truly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Again, thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next one. Take care.